Hey everyone and welcome to this video on how to get started with the Retracer Delay workstation from EBS. The Retracer Delay has almost limitless options when it comes to creating your own delay presets and tone. So I'm gonna walk you through how to get things started and why not. So let's dive right into it, shall we? So the EBS Retracer pedal has two modes. It has the easy mode and it has the expert mode. When you're in easy mode, use the plus and minus symbols here to go between the different presets. Use the level knob to adjust the mix of the delay. <clears throat> use the tone and feedback knobs to sculpt the tone. And use the delay knob to set the tempo. You can also use the tap function to change the BPM or uh, number of seconds that the delay uses. If you make changes to presets, you simply hold down the plus sign and you will be able to save it. And here, using the tone knob, you can select which bank you're gonna save the preset in. Uh, then use the tap button to confirm the save. If you want to change any of the global settings uh, on the retracer delay, hold down the plus knob and then press the minus knob, and it will go into the global settings menu. To scroll between the different parameters of this menu, you use the level knob, and use the plus sign to access the different menus. And if you want to save the changes that you might have made in the global settings menu, you press the tap button, and if you just want to escape it all, press the bypass button. So there is easy mode for you. To access expert mode, you go to the global settings menu, you go to the general menu, and there, using the delay knob, you switch from off to on in expert mode, and you press the tap button and now you're in expert mode. If you want to access different presets when in expert mode, you hold down the minus button until the load screen appears. Using the tone knob, you toggle between the different banks and using the feedback knob, you scroll between the different presets. If you want to change the tempo subdivision, both in expert and in ease mode, you hold down the tap button and you press the plus and minus sign to go between the different node values. So with this being done, let's create a brand new preset. You hold down the minus button and you press the plus to access the different engines. And you use the plus and minus signs to go between the different engines. So let's create an analog delay. You press the tap button and the engine is loaded. So here is... Our analog delay. Should you ever run into a feedback loop and you want to uh, disengage everything, hold down the active button until the panic uh, message appears and the pedal will be reset and you will escape the nasty feedback loop. So now that we loaded in the analog engine, uh, let's go into the, let's engage the expert mode so we can tweak it out a bit more. So. Sounds pretty good. Use the plus and minus signs to go between different uh, 
parameters of the delay. So let's set the attack for a bit uh, slower. And the release a bit slower as well. Uh, and let's adjust the level knob just a little bit more. Good. You can change the wave form to the delay as well. So let's go form of a square wave. It's not pretty good already. So let's just save this. So hold on the plus sign and then let's save it there. Uh, and let's now let's save it as. A delay, here we go. And it saved us every K, A delay. So with this preset, I also want to add the EBS Dynaverb in the effects loop of the retrace delay. So guess what you're gonna do? In expert mode still, press the minus symbol so you get to this menu. Then you scroll down until you get to the mode button and you change it to loop. And then you can select uh, where in the loop you want the pedal if you want it on the delay part of it or if you want it in the feedback loop so i'm going to set this for the feedback loop i'm going to go back here and i'm going to save and now plugging this bad boy in and now And now we have the EBS Dynaverb reverb pedal in the effects loop of the retracer delay. You can add any kind of pedal you want, of course, in the effects loop. You can add distortion or even another delay pedal. Uh, the options are pretty limitless, so it's pretty cool. You can play around with that. Anyways, I'm gonna go back now to easy mode. There we go. And now. back the feedback a little bit and and now using the level knob I can adjust the amount of delay Just the high and low pass filters now. And remember to save the things that you do. Um, so there you have it. That's a really quick and easy explanation of the retracer delay pedal and how we can get started with it. The EBS retracer delay has got many more options as well. On the back of the retracer delay, you have also access to MIDI using the MIDI input on the back, you can sync this up to other devices. Uh, you get a cable with the pedal when you buy it. You also have a mini USB input on the back, which you can uh, use to update the firmware and also in the future use a editor on your computer instead of using the buttons on the pedal. Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this quick little uh, getting started video on the EBS Retrace of the Late. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.